Hi, this is Mike Bagley, and you're watching the Checkered Flag Crew. Hey guys, we're here with Mike Bagley, co-host of The Morning Drive on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. How you doing? I'm doing great, except I'm a little nervous. I think you boys are trying to take my job here. <laughs> so, we've all heard the calendar, which right. is very famous on The Morning Drive. Where do you get your information from? Well, I can't give you the specific website, but there is a website out there. Actually, one of them just went out of business. I had to find a new one. Oh. But I go on there, and, and I have everything that you could possibly imagine. I have actually 200 entries a day, and I go through and I whittle away and just to time it out for about a seven-minute segment. Okay. And then birthdays, I think I go to famousbirthdays.com, and then jsky.com for the NASCAR birthdays. Okay. So you might want to tell jsky to include your birthday so I can remember all y'all. <laughs> And other than just the morning drive, you do call the races up atop the billboard. How do you know when it's your turn to talk and when the person next to you knows it's their turn to talk? Well, we've worked together for so long that we basically know that when the cars get to a certain point on the racetrack, that that announcer's not going to start another sentence. For instance, Dave Moody is working turn two this weekend at Daytona. I'm working turn three or the end of the backstretch. Kyle Ricky's working turn four. It's, it's when the cars get to a certain point on the racetrack, Dave will wrap it up, but it's also voice inflection. So it's like, you know, side by side, Joey Logano to the inside of Dale Earnhardt Jr. for the lead off turn two. When that inflection goes down, I know that it's my time to go. And then I'll do the same thing. And then when my inflection goes down, Kyle Ricky will jump in behind me in turn four. Do you always call from the backstretch? Here at Daytona, yeah. Daytona and Talladega, I'm the backstretch guy, which is fun. What is the hardest track to call a race from? Well, um... Road courses can be challenging at times because you see the cars come by you every like 50 seconds. Mm -hmm. So the cars will leave. You'll hear them on the other side of the racetrack and then just waiting for them to come back to you. Also, short tracks are pretty, pretty hard too because like Bristol, mm -hmm. a lap is 15 seconds. Well, a turn call is about seven seconds. So you have to be very quick and very concise. South Boston was about a four second turn drop. Mansfield, when the trucks race there, is pretty quick too. So. Pocono's a long one too. When Dave drops into me off turn one at Pocono, I talk for about maybe 30 seconds. That's just a long, 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 long time. And then they've just gotten to the tunnel turn. Now I got to talk a little more and take them off turn two. So those are some of the challenges. It's fun though. I love it. Do you want to take our jobs? Now I'm going to, I'm going to do the interviewing right now. So what is your mission here? Are you trying to lay the fender of the MRN guys here? Are you trying to do play by play? You want to be an interviewer? I mean, you want to be Mike Joy? What do you want to be? Well, I'm interested in uh, being a reporter. That's probably a class I'm going to take in high school. And, you know, I've, well, anything with media in NASCAR, basically. So TV, uh, writing, tele, uh, radio, anything that has to do with journalism? Basically, yeah. I'd like, I'd like to go on the TV. Really? Yeah. See, that's where the money is. <laughs> oh, look, look at that grin. Oh, look. <laughs> Oh, look at all these smiles here. See, that's, that's where the money is. But see, the fun is in radio. See, because you know what's great about radio? Here, let me give you your mic back. I don't mean okay. to take over your show. You know what the best thing is about radio? Is TV gives you pictures, and they provide captions. Mm. Radio, we have to paint the picture in everyone's minds. So we have to get very descriptive with our words. So that's where the fun comes into play. It's like when we go out into our turn positions and we do the races, then it's like, okay, how can I be as descriptive as possible without being too cute? but also paint a clear enough picture so that if I'm, if someone's riding down the street, then they can, in their mind, picture what I'm talking about, which is the cool thing. That's why I love radio. I grew up listening to radio, like mm -hmm. football and baseball and all that stuff, and I was enamored with the guy on the radio. It's the coolest job ever. Who would you say is the most descriptive person? In NASCAR? Well, in, the, in, in MRN, in the radio. Um, I would say Eli Gold. He's, he has a way with words. Of course, he does football with the Alabama Crimson Tide. Sorry, Midwestern people. Um, he's got 15 championship rings anywhere. He's going to wear one of them right now. Um, he's very descriptive about, I grew up listening to him. So I would be riding down the road, and obviously couldn't see it on TV or whatever, but to hear him give the description and, and paint the cars. Dave Despain, who used to work for Speed Channel and um, did a lot of things in the sport, used to be very descriptive with colors of cars and how the cars were spread out on the racetrack and all that. Those two, I think, are some of the best in NASCAR about painting the picture and be very descriptive about what they're seeing happen in front of them. All right, well, thanks for Mike Bagley for taking time to talk with us. For more from the Checkered Flag Crew, you can follow us on Twitter at Check Flag Crew.
And follow Mike Bagley also. At, at the Mike Bagley on Twitter. 